Hello, and welcome back to Advanced Concepts. Today, we start a new element. So let's see what the seep has for us. By Chaco. Okay. Not all monsters walk the same path. Some don't even use the paths at all. There are things living in the walls. But fear not, because the seep annex is here to educate you in the ways of the wily seep. So... Just based on my uh, my understanding of this element, I don't imagine that this is going to be a terribly big level. Okay. Uh, is there some kind of secret something going on here? Yeah, it looks like looks like going that way. That's a very obvious tell there. Interesting choice. Simple, easy rooms, challenging implementation rooms, complete level, back to main hub. Uh, let's go with the simple, easy rooms first. We'll, we'll play along. Okay. See for monsters that live in walls and can only move to solid spaces, walls and raised doors. To kill them, simply move your sword into their location. Seep cannot, mo uh, Seep cannot move through dropped doors, but can move through raised doors. Seep also respect force arrows. Okay, well there's an easy one. So here, the problem is, if I wait, you get stuck here and you get stuck here. So I need you... Uh, well, let's just demonstrate that. Yep, look, they respect force arrows. Okay. That and you get through nicely. And this is going to demonstrate that they go through doors as well. Is this a toggle? No, it's just a close. Seep cannot move onto obstacles that are on top of walls. Okay. So again, we start this and. Ah, uh, looks like it's pretty simple. Little seep maze here. Oops, sand, I fell for it. Uh, I'm sure this is going to come up later, but I'm going to demonstrate it now anyway, because it's something that I happen to know. Uh, Seep, unlike most monsters, does not have vertical preference. Instead, here it looks at these two squares and it chooses the one that would bring it closer to me. Uh, there's a lot more detail involved in that, especially once brains get involved, but I'm sure we'll, we'll get a lesson on that at some point. Ooh, a citizen. I like citizens. Seep die if they are... Seep die if the space they are in becomes something that is not a wall. Some examples include dropping a door, collapsing a crumbly wall, or having a builder destroy the wall. Oh, okay. So that's what's going to happen here. So, first of all, you're in a broken wall. Well, you're now dead. Oh, let's pay a little bit more attention. Seep over here in the door. Dies when I hit the orb. Okay. Uh, this is a toggle, so we're going to hit it once. Seep's going to move towards us. Hit it again, and the seep dies before it can move. And finally... I don't know why it's a toggle, but okay. Our builder friend replaces the wall with a road, and that kills the last seep. Okay. I do like builders. Uh, since we're here, I might as well do this, I guess. Uh, this combination of seep will kill you. You cannot kill more than one monster per turn. To avoid this grisly fate, get rid of one of the seep somehow, or nullify its threat. Okay. Yeah, so we can't get through this way, but we can drag one of the seep down. 
Uh, random pet peeve of mine when people pluralize seep as seeps. I would think seep would just be a mass mass noun, I don't know. I like plur pluralizing it as seep. One seep, two seep. Seepage would be acceptable as well. Ah, your sword does block movement, just like with most monsters. Okay, here we have a force arrow. This is a trick that I've seen in, in another hold recently, actually. The uh, Take 5 contest. Seep entry did something like this. So this seep must respect the force arrow, so we're safe. Okay, here we cannot go through this way, so we have to take the trap door. Uh, let's just kill you. Uh, we'll use a mimic to deal with this one. And here... Is there any reason I would need to drop all the trap doors? There is not. So I won't. Right, so again, speed potion, we know all about this now. Half turn is no good, but if I wait... Aha, that's why it's there, okay. So I can back off. Use the speed potion. And there we go. That was a little room that showed a whole lot of things all at once. Well, if we're going to do stuff like, stuff like that, then this is going to be a very short entry. Maybe not. Do not rotate your sword. Do I want my sword facing this direction initially? I'm going to take a look at this and suspect that the answer is no. Probably want it on a diagonal of some sort. Seep cannot move on to swords. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so the trick here is that I can't move on. Seep can't move on to the sword, so I need you to step south because I can't rotate or I get stuck. I have this, which allows me to change my orientation one time, either facing. Uh, what would that be? Northeast or southeast? I think I'm going to go with southeast, which means that. I'm not going to be able to take out these um, these four trap doors with that orientation. So as long as I clear all of that now, I should be okay, right? can't. Not with this orientation, I don't think. Not from here. Because there's no way for me to clear that and still make... Oh, uh, without clearing that. If that makes sense. Because now, now I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be stubborn and try to do it with this orientation, so I'm going to come at it from this angle. Something like that. And now from here... That's what this is for, so that I can turn my sword again. And now I'm forced to deal with you facing that way, but that's fine. Okay, that was a tricky little room. Not too difficult, but it was an interesting variation on the uh, trapdoor puzzle. I quite liked it. Okay, what have we got going on here? Seep preferences. Ah, here we go. When seep cannot move diagonally, they compare the horizontal and vertical distance to you and move whichever way has the greater distance. Horizontal and vertical distance are the same. Seep moves vertically. So we've got the vertical preference thing. Also, don't destroy that uh, early. 
horizontal is greater than vertical, seat moves horizontally. Which is, I guess, the unique thing about the seat. Uh, in the custom element contest, the uh, the leech, which actually was the element I believe Chaco made for that uh, contest, uh, also uses seat movement, so I suppose that's appropriate. Uh, vertical, greater than horizontal, moves vertically. Alright, easy enough. We'll take the slow way. Slow way out. Hello, obvious secret. Okay, this is going to... Hmm. Now well, let's read the scroll before we get excited. If a monster is on top of a raised door, a seat can't move through the tile. Okay. So this is going to... Okay. Nice and easy. Uh, I'm not seeing any other secret or any cracks or anything. Okay. This room is slightly different, but a little, but a bit harder. See if you can solve it. Okay, I can do that, I can do that. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so the trick here is that I can't actually access these seat. So the only way I can kill them is well this this one I can kill here. But I can't actually kill them except this one except for on the door, which toggles. So I'm gonna start with this. Then we're going to do that. And then... Finish it off. Okay. Yeah, a little bit harder, as, as the scroll said. A stalwart. Oh, the horror. Hopefully this room solves itself. Seep considers stalwarts to be a target just as other monsters will. A seep can jump out of a wall to kill a stalwart in much the same manner as it would kill Beethro. However, the seep will die after it kills the stalwart. Ah, so this stalwart's not going to do much of anything. Well, of course it isn't. It doesn't even see that there's a threat. Uh, it might in that instance, although it moves before... Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Do Steve move through master walls? That's interesting, if that's the case. Don't step on this pressure plate, but I wanna. Seep can move through all types of door as long as they are raised. Okay, so we see it's moving through level clear, room clear, regular. Oops. I guess demonstrating it jumping out of the wall. Here's going to be master, trap door, and tar stuff. They do move. They do move through master walls. I guess that's what you would expect, but it's just master walls are weird. I don't know. Seep can also move through dropped master walls. Master walls can change state in the middle of a room and require that the whole already be conquered. So seep puzzles with master walls are not actively encouraged. Okay. So for demonstration purposes, this is okay. But as the scroll says, don't actually do this uh, in your in your hold. What's the point of this? Just 
symmetry with this, maybe? I I don't know. That's, uh, that's confusing. Okay, well that was the basic concepts. Uh, plus one secret, unless I missed something. Although, given that secret and this, it looks like this isn't the kind of entry that's going to be actively hiding its secret rooms. Which, I mean, it's a tutorial entry, so it probably shouldn't be. Hello, guard. Ah, this trick. Okay. Uh, I wonder if there are no more instruction scrolls at this point. Okay. I'm do this, and they even give us a tunnel to make this easy. There we go. Can't kill it ourselves, we'll use the, the guard. Okay, we've got all kinds of cracks all over the place. Let's. Oh boy, builders. Our citizen wait, the citizens are just sitting there. Oh okay, they're they're um their relay stations are blocked off. Clicking on the citizens will give you their current target, whether it is a relay station or a build marker. Okay, so they're turning all this into dirt, and they're turning this into wall. Oh, there is a seep. Okay, I was uh, I was looking at this, and it's like, where where's the? Like there, I saw the roach. I was like, what's the point of this? Okay, what's going on here? Aha! Eventually, a citizen will come here. Hit that. I have to hit this. I have to hit this orb before I can escape. I have to hit the orb before I kill everything, but then I have to kill everything to escape. Okay. Ah. Uh, huh. And you ensure that the seep stays in here. Okay, so I need to get the seep stuck on here. Uh, interesting. I think I might have to keep the seep alive. Ah. Be throw hints, even. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I could just kill the seep right now. Uh, what? Seep moves to four citizens? Uh, okay, I just learned something. I thought that citizens were like uh, slayers, guards, stalwarts, mimics, all those things that uh, half uh, decoys, probably some other stuff, fagundos. The things that move before monsters. For some reason, there's a set list order of uh, elements that'll move uh, as far as monster movement. Obviously, V throw is first, and then uh, everything else has a set order until you just get to the generic monsters. And I didn't realize, I think the citizen, this means that the citizen is a monster, or it moves slower than monsters. I'm not sure about that. And I think about the things that move slower than monsters. Um, fluff comes to mind. Well, let's uh, get you stuck behind, stuck on that. Although, when I look at this, oh, hmm. So where do I put this seat? Ah, you're the target again, aren't you? Do I just run in circles forever? We are going to eventually... Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, I got you stuck. Okay. Oh, I'm blocking the citizens off from there. Uh, which is something I can be doing. I can be blocking the citizens. gonna go for the seat. So we're gonna I mean I'm just kinda kind of just waiting at this point, right? Because they're not gonna go for that until they've finished everything here. 
So that, that wall is safe. So what I need to do is I need to get the seep here while I'm here, and then I can just wait. How am I going to do that? Uh, not with this shape. I can block the citizens from doing certain things. Like, if I just stood here, I can deter the citizens from this side. And then they'll... Yeah. I thought he was going to go for the center. Okay. So, I mean, I can do stuff like that. Citizens are weird. I like them though. Okay, you got through somehow. Okay, I need to... Block you like that. You are that's fine. Uh, that was not fine. Okay, so what I want is I want that one gone. you are. Dirt floor now. It changed. It's scripted to change. Okay. Let's let this guy get out. And now they have nothing to do. Yeah, that was a that was a fun little room. That was neat. Very strange and unusual, but both strange and unusual. But that was, yeah, it was a fun use of uh, builders. And 
I see we've got this over here too. Okay, something messy. We'll deal with that in a moment. Hopefully this isn't... Oh. Destroy all the walls to make sure I'm not missing a path. I don't think I am. These look like clones. Have a stalwart. Okay, okay, that's yeah, another weird room. Okay, what are you doing? Tara stuff gate. Okay. So basically, is this a, it's a toggle? But let's do that. We're going to get you close. Yeah. See, we can hide, we can hide the seat that he's going for. Oh, got too close. Really? Okay, we're, we're starting this over. Yes, this is going to be a less fun secret room, I guess. close okay so from here how do I want to do this your target is that seat okay so you move down okay you're moving that way let's okay There we go. One down. I don't really have any way to talk through what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to... Hopefully I didn't lose by doing that. Uh, I do need him to kill all the seed at the end, but that's okay. So I think... Yeah, is that too close? Yeah, that's too close. And that probably means I've lost. Okay. So when is too close? Too close is past here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, because this is... Yeah, if you were in this line... Okay, so as long as you're within, inside the seat, uh, the mud, then it's okay. Uh, checkpoint. We're gonna do that again. Let's say no. Hmm. Do I need to let him take out one of these? Maybe I do. Because otherwise, he's just gonna keep going back and forth between them. Okay, take out this one. Okay, so here you're doing that. So let's actually wait until. There. 
I think is where I want you. So you move. This is what I mean about the turn order. Stalwarts move before seat. So you're gonna move. And then from there. Why are you stepping and not rotating? Ah, stalwarts. See, the fact that you did that, I think, is a loss for me. Okay, and now you have no reason to ever go to this side. Okay, so this isn't good. No. So from here... I need to get you to take this out from here. Okay, well, we didn't try it from this angle, so let's see. You turn, you're turning that way. Why? Who's your target? There we go. that. Okay, we don't need you anymore. There we go. less enjoyable than the, the Builder Room, but uh, what can you do, stalwarts? Like it's, it's, um, it's less enjoyable because it wasn't, it wasn't, like, challenging really, it was just uh, a lot of trial and error, which I don't like when I'm solving it that way. I guess if I just understood stalwart movement, then that wouldn't be an issue. But, uh, as far as I know, there's no stalwart entry in the advanced concepts. Which that would be terrifying, I suppose, if there was. Okay, rotation and release the seat. Okay, so what happens if I step on this? This rotates, which lets me... which sets this down. So this goes off, which hits that, which lets me out. Okay. problem here is that we've got this funky guard set up where they're going to keep stabbing all of these walls and I don't want them to because I need I need the seep to come down if I do that the seep is stuck but won't the guard just stab the seep now and kill it isn't that fine do. That's going to be why it's not fine. Yeah. Okay. So the Wubba, the Wubba enforces me actually playing this properly. So this is just going to be a matter of um, which preference it has, right? Because if I'm looking at the diagonal here, as long as I step here, I'll be further away along a certain axis, and then, whoops, uh, yeah, 
just have to find the right spot and it'll keep going for whichever horizontal or vertical preference is closer. Okay. A weird room, but not uh, not bad at all. Note that the crumbly wall rectangle has eight columns but nine rows. Hmm. I was expecting some uh, explanation on how brain seep worked, but I guess not. So how does this whole thing start? You only kill the brain by hitting it with a bomb. Okay, it starts here. Ah, so this is one of those set up the puzzle in advance. Yeah. And I need... Um... It doesn't matter if it's gotten to me or not before then. Or because of these horse arrows, I'm not going to be able to force my way through. So basically I'm creating a maze, but there has to be a path that the seep can get to, to get to me. Uh, I can trick the brain by letting it think it can move diagonally across ortho squares, but all that does is it gets it trapped. And if I do that, then I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. So... Uh, you can't move until I start everything, so yeah, this is just a matter of cutting out a maze of some sort. Uh, it did say be aware of the fact 8 and 9, so I think I want to just do something like this, don't I? I don't know how I could possibly... Uh, right, there's a force arrow, so I'm safe to do that. Yeah, I don't know how I could possibly make that any longer than that, while still having a path that the brain can get to me. Is this going to be set up nicely so that the seat dies at the very end? Uh, yes? No. Oh, right. Okay. Yep, so just uh, carve your own path out of the uh, broken walls. It's always a fun thing to do. Alright, uh, coming close to 40 minutes, but it looks like this might be the last room. So... One entry in one episode. Ah, we get to do the roach dance. Okay. Wait, there's a decoy. No roach dance? Roach dances without me. Okay. So I can't enter this. Uh, I suppose I can stand on one of these to kill the roach at the very end. That would be fine. Uh, assuming that the roach was already... Well, uh, the roach would be able to get out. Uh, so I have eight of these. I have eight here. Looks like they all kind of do something different. Uh, this closes everything, so I want... A decoy for some reason. Okay, well, I don't want to hit these in advance, right? Because if I do that... Yeah, I mean, it opens. It opens them, but... Uh, what good does that do me? So what I'm trying to do now 
is I'm trying to get in without actually hitting any of these, because I need to hit this, hit this, and then the decoy... I'm still confused as to how, how this is actually going to work. Like, I need, I need the roach to hit all of these while I'm in here, right? What can, I, what can I do with this? Like, let me just look at this room a little bit. That's what I'm missing. There's no arrow here. So I want to hit... I want to hit all eight of these. I want to hit seven of these before I go in. Is that right? Okay. I can do that. Let's get around you. But this I can't do because of vertical preference. Okay. Hmm. Do this first. Get you. That doesn't help at all. Confusing. So what I need to do, I need to hit the rest of these. Okay, let's start over and see where this thing starts. Well, what are the hard ones? I think I want to start here. Okay, and then that's the last one that I can't get on my own. Okay, so it's just a matter of starting in the right spot. Uh, this isn't going to work though. Okay. So it's starting in the right spot helps. I guess from here I go... Do I want to go up here yet? Mm, I can go down here anytime. But once I'm in here, I think I'm stuck. So I think I actually want to do this first. That lets me do this, which lets me get back here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, no, I think that's fine because here I can do this. And then you're going to go here, but I can attract you out with my... Yeah, because you'll see me. Okay. A weird room again. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I need to... I need to get the, um... I need to kill the roach. Somehow. 
Okay, well, in that case... Let's just do that. Right? Okay. Now yeah, it's a little bit more complicated. Had a, a bunch of stuff to try to keep track of there. But yeah, that was a fairly simple but uh, fairly enjoyable little sleep level. Learned a lot of different things, most of which um is there anything new? I don't think I don't think I actually learned anything from this, but it was just a, a fun little romp playing with some sleep. Ah, just trying to think. I guess like the interactions with them and stalwarts, like the the timing between them and the the citizen builders, stuff like that, um, surprised me. So timing relative to other monsters and how that can be used. But that's just. Um, general monster ordering stuff, but Seep can be a part of that as a monster. If you throw emerge from the Seep Annex with the satisfaction of a job well done. And the walls, they're in the walls, not anymore, haha. -ha. Okay, well this part uh, is really easy, although I do have to be a little bit patient. Uh, bonus, uh, bonus note, tokens do not block. Oh, they don't block any monster movement really. Really? Ah, uh, yeah. It was tie because I could have I could have just run for the token and then stabbed it myself. Okay, fair enough. Oh, this place keeps on going. What's down here? Roach queens. Uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. Oh boy. Oh well, that's that's simple enough. Okay, uh, so this, uh, I wonder how similar this is going to be to uh, Mother of All Roaches from the Second Sky. Because mo the Mother of All Roaches, that level, didn't use any of the new elements that were introduced in the Second Sky, if I remember right. It was entirely uh, City Beneath elements. So this is probably going to be similar to that. Uh, in some sense. So we'll see how it goes. Roach Queen's a fun monster. Looking forward to it. And I will, uh, yeah, Roach Queen's in the next part. See you then.